Good morning, everyone. I am Christy Buckmiller. I am here to give you lesson four of the Give Thanks, the Give Thanks workbook at Gift Bible Studies. So the lesson four is thirsting for God. Okay. So I'm going to read some of it. It starts off with Psalms 42, and I'm going to read some of it. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come? and appear before God. My tears have been my meat day and night while they continue to say, where is thy God? Have you ever felt that before? I know I have. I have felt moments in life where I've wondered, where is God? Why isn't he here? Where is, what is he doing? I have been through pain, but yet it was always for a purpose. It was always for a purpose. So the writer of this psalm is saying his soul is panting. It's thirsting after God. Have you ever been really, really hot? I know. I know I have been really hot. And I have been so thirsty. And that water tastes so good when you get it. Okay. Well, our soul does the same exact thing. There's times where we need God so much. And the only thing that's going to do is prayer and seeking his face and being there. So he's saying, people, and people, he's hearing, where is thy God? And I know you've heard those voices. Where is your God? Where's God at? What is he doing? So when I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me he pours out his soul in him for i had gone with the multitude and i went with them to the house of god with the voice of joy and praise with the multitude that kept holy day so he's been going to church he didn't miss gathering together he went to church and he was still feeling like this why art thou cast down on my soul why art thou disquieted in me hope thou in god for i shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance so that's the verse of the week or the verse of the day however you're doing this study Psalms 42.5 is what I just read. And um, cast down is meaning like low in state. You're getting uh, humbled. You're going down. Um, disquitted is like a rage inside you. You're, you're troubled. You're just upset in your soul. And then countenance is like his face shine that's the same verse or that's the same word used in numbers six where they're saying um, let your face shine upon you and be gracious to me it, it's that same that's that same word used so let me continue reading oh my god my soul is cast down within me therefore will i remember thee from the land of jordan and from the Hermamites, guys, I can't say this. I'm not good at pronouncing these words. So, yet the Lord commanded his loving kindness in the daytime. He commanded. In all this, he commanded his loving kindness in the daytime. And in the night, his song shall be with me. So, he was still, his loving kindness was with them with the day. And... In the nighttime, his soul was, was with him. And my prayer unto the God of my life. Is God your life? Is he? Do you make him your life? 
Okay, so I'm gonna go down a little bit. He says it again. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him. So what did he do when he, what did he do whenever he was feeling this way? He praised him still. He chose to praise him regardless. Sometimes we just got to open our mouth and praise. We just, that's just what we got to do. Okay, so I'm going to turn over to Genesis 29. It is all talking about, when I read this, I thought this was so neat. So if you don't know who Jacob and Leah and the 12 brother, their 12 sons, or, well, his 12 sons um, are, I strongly recommend you going and reading that because I am not going to go over that. But um, so Leah, so, okay, Jacob didn't love Leah. He was kind of, he was tricked into marrying her. But they had kids. So Leah had four sons at the beginning. They were the first ones born, or at least she had the first kids born with him. Uh, but, so Reuben was his first. I think this is really cool. So she had four boys at the beginning. And the first son, she was, she was upset. She was the keeper of the home. She was a wife. She loved Jacob, but Jacob didn't love her. Okay. But here she goes she says with when reuben was born it was the first son surely the lord has looked upon my affliction when that first son was born so this is in genesis 29 32 to 35 if i didn't say that sorry and the next one so she said with her next son because the lord heard me i heard i was hated so the next son she said I had this son because the Lord heard that I was hated. The next son was Levi. She said, now my husband will join me. So each one of these sons, she was talking about herself and saying, oh, the Lord gave me this because the, gave me this son because of so-and-so. Jacob didn't love me. Okay, the, very, so the next son is Judah. Judah, do y'all know who Judah is? Line of Judah. So Judah, she said, now I will praise the Lord. Is that really cool or what? I thought that was so neat. So it took her four sons and the son that the lineage that, that our beloved Jesus came from, that David came from, Judah. She said, now I will praise the Lord. Now I'll praise the Lord. That's beautiful. So when Jacob was blessing Judah right before he died, of course, this was, you know, fast forward many years. This is a Genesis 49 now. Uh, 49, 8, and 8 through 10 tells us that um, he says, how did Jacob bless Judah? Well, he said, shall your brother your brethren shall praise you so first he said your brethren's going to praise you then he called him a lion's cub which i think that's pretty neat because is that where the reference to the lion that he is a lion of judah well I, it's in other parts of the bible as well but i just thought that was kind of neat right there and then um the genesis 49 10 is is a is a prophecy of the coming of Jesus Christ coming from him. It's really neat. So I just thought this lesson four of the Give Thanks workbook is just it's a good reference to remember that God is with us in every battle, in every circumstance. All we need to do is learn to praise him. We've got to learn to praise him, him in those moments. Lift up your hands and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing in my life. I give you honor. I give you praise for all of it. 
because I know you're working something good. We've got to do it, guys. I love y'all, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.